Hey Paramount, I want to talk to you about another type of weathering. Remember weathering is when rocks get broken down. We've talked about they could break or, you know, things could maybe fall on them and kind of destroy them. But here's something else that I want to share with you. This rock, which is again at Fairview. So this is a big piece of sandstone. It's a sizable rock. It's pretty good. But some of you may have seen this stuff growing on rocks near you or maybe growing on trees near you. This stuff is called lichen. And it's actually alive. It's a mixture of both fungus and algae. And lichen, as it attaches itself and it grows on things like rocks or trees, it's just going to keep growing. But because it's living, it produces waste material. And so when lichen is growing... How it, how it releases its waste is in a form of kind of like a, a liquidy substance. And that liquidy substance is actually a chemical. And it's a chemical that's a weak acid. And if you think about acids, what they do, they can burn things and they can destroy things. Well, that's kind of what's happening to the rock. Over a long period of time, as this rock is being exposed to the acids that are coming out of the lichen, the rock is getting smooth. This rock probably used to be pointy and jagged right here where this lichen has been growing for a long, long time. And so it's being weathered by the lichen. So chemicals can actually break down rocks as well. And so when I showed you earlier and I mentioned the other rock that was being broken down by rain, that's also because our rains around here some kind, sometimes can contain a weak acid as well. It's not going to burn you or hurt you but it is slightly acidic and over time it starts to break down our rocks. So just another way to think about weathering. Cool, right?